plantation system in Jamaica were controlled by a group of people that were mostly English. And so the workers were at the mercy of these overseers who had was to report back to the owners of these estates in England. The wages were at the lowest minimum. There were no consideration for working hours. The workers lived in shacks. Disease was rampant. The last of the outbreak was cholera, that thousands of laborers died on the streets and on the plantation in Jamaica during that period. When Garvey left Jamaica in his youthful days, I do not believe that he was convinced that conditions for the Negroes throughout the world was as bad as it seems in Jamaica. But it was when he left Jamaica and had gone into the uh, United States and South America to see that it was worse there than it was in Jamaica, that he had pledged his whole life and was prepared to start the work to redeem the Negroes from their condition. He sat down with me in his library and he told me of incidents where he went, he went down into the mines with the miners in Pittsburgh, he said. And at that time, the, the miners in Pittsburgh, he said, uh, was receiving a uh, seven pence a penny per day to work in the coal mines. And he said he went down there and saw it. He went to Panama, he said, to, went to Balboa and all those places and see what the people were doing in the plantations. So, um, he was really a redeemer.